The countdown is on for the 2017 SEA Games, and the Philippines is getting ready to outshine its neighbors. After a lackluster performance in 2015, the Philippines is setting the bar high for its campaign in Kuala Lumpur. In 2015, the Philippines finished 6 out of 11 teams that competed in Singapore, unable to keep pace with powerhouses Thailand, Malaysia and Singapore. It was another disappointing campaign for the Philippines, with the athletes excelling only at the sports they have traditionally done well in and making headlines for the wrong reasons. In fact, typing the search term Filipino divers online still brings you back to their viral showing at the 2015 Games. But this year's delegation aims to change that. We sat down with the Philippine chef de Michon, Cynthia Carillon, and she is aiming high in Kuala Lumpur. And I asked each one of them, okay, how many golds would you give me? They promised me 63 medals, gold medals. But I am not relying on the 63. I am only relying on 50. Where will those 63 medals come from? Carillon provided us with a list which laid out where the Philippines can earn those gold medals. The Philippines will be competing in all sports with the exception of cricket. Apart from retaining the gold medals in sports such as basketball and triathlon, Carion believes that there is also a chance to get atop the podium in new events such as the winter sports. Carion says, at a minimum, she is expecting 50 gold medals, which is a tall order for the 495-man Philippine delegation to the Games. Especially since the country hasn't finished with over 50 medals since the 2005 edition of the SEA Games when Manila hosted the biennial meet. But nevertheless, despite the criticism leveled at them for setting such a high goal, Carillon is confident in this year's Philippine team. The ambition and the confidence is there for a strong showing in the SEA Games. But now it is up to the athletes to step up to the plate and meet expectations. The Southeast Asian Games open in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia on August 19th. Paulo De Rosario, CNN Philippines.